Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass, and in this video, I'll be going over Shopify's search and discovery app, explaining things step by step here, as well as giving you a general overview of the app, so you can have this set up for your store as having an optimized search bar and help to generate more sales and give more relevant results to your customers. Before I dive into it, I want to mention my own app, Copywriting Robot. It's going to allow you to use AI to write your product descriptions 10 times faster. All you have to do is enter in a few product details to get an optimized product description, SEO title, and SEO meta description. You can also do this in bulk and get ad copy as well. So you can see you can take a basic description such as this. If you're a dropshipper, this is going to be extremely common. You can turn this into an optimized description, helping convince your customers to purchase your product. And they're all going to include a call to action at the end. So there's a link in the description, get lifetime access. So make sure you check that out below. So let's go into Shopify's search and discovery app listing just so I can go over a few of the overall features here. So basically it's gonna help customers find the right products by making discovery easier. You can customize search, filtering, and product recommendations so you can enhance your product's relevance. You can also use analytics to understand how customers are navigating your store as well. In terms of overall features, you can customize the filters, make synonym groups, so product descriptions match the terms shoppers use. You can use product boost to feature products you want highlighted, add related and complementary products, and then access the analytics. So let's dive into the search and discovery app. If we don't have it installed already, click this add app button and then go through the install sequence. So I've done that already. So now in my Shopify admin here, I can click app and I can search search and discovery. So it's going to pop up right away after typing in part of that phrase. This will load the app here. So at your basic section, you're going to have your analytics on your search performance. So you can see your click through rate, purchase rate, top online store searches. You can also see more problematic ones here, such as top online store searches with no clicks. This probably means that customers can't find what they're looking for. You also get recommendations for performance here and click rate, purchase rate. Shopify is also gonna do a good job here at suggesting what you should be doing next. Let's suggest adding filters, creating product boosts and synonyms, as well as customizing recommended products. Let's go through these one by one. So let's go through filters here by clicking on view filters and so we can see the collection and search filters. So these are the two filters by default. They're gonna be availability and price. I'm gonna click edit filters here to look at the other options. You can see product type, tags, vendor. You're also gonna add options for color, plug type, power, and size. I'll just leave these as the default here and then go back. And so that's your basic filtering settings. So if I go to the demo store here and I search for a result, I did this by just searching bag here. I can now see the two filtering options of availability and price. So I can filter by a price range as well as in stock or out of stock. Let's dive into the next section, create product boots and synonym. So these allow you to create product boots and synonym groups to help customers find what they're looking for and help increase your conversion rate. So product boots, you can just promote certain products. So let's say you have a bestseller or something that's on sale. You could promote that here. Let's click into product boots and press create. So I'm going to browse through my products here. I'm going to select this first one framed canvas. I'm going to add this in here and you can add these search terms. I'm going to add this to canvas. I'm also just going to add hat here to show you that it's going to show up for something unrelated. I'm going to click save. If I go back to the search bar now and I search for hat, you can see the framed canvas is now going to show up for something mostly unrelated, actually very unrelated there. Something to note as well is this is going to take a few seconds once you create these product boosts for them to load in your search bar, I had to wait a few seconds for mine to load. So just something to be aware of. Next, we'll take a look at synonyms. So if you open this up here, so this is for terms that your customers are using to search on your online store, but they're not going to match how you describe them. So you can create synonym groups to help customers find relevant results. Let's dive into the last section here, and that's going to be customize recommended products. Now, something to note is that if you want to be able to find these options on the left, if you go to the top right here and click pin to your navigation, these will open up easier. So let's click into this product recommendation section. I'm going to click add recommendation. But first, I'm going to select my product. I'm going to select this framed canvas again, hit add. Now you can add complementary products that are purchased in addition. And I don't really have that many products on the store. So I'm just going to include the classic tea and this hot glue gun. So I've added my complementary product. You can also add related products. Maybe I'll just add the outdoor camping bag and add there. You can also hide these auto generated recommendations as well. So I'm going to hit save here to save this product recommendation. So where this is going to show up is on the bottom of the page itself. So if I go to this frame canvas test product, 
I go to the bottom, I can see you may also like the related products here. These are going to be the two outdoor camping bags that I added. In a nutshell, this is going to be the search and discovery app from Shopify available for your Shopify store. It's a completely free app here and it's going to add to the search and functionality of your search bar. There is some feedback that this isn't the best search app out there. But being said, it is completely free here and it does give you quite a few analytics. So it is hard to beat free. And this app was only released in July 25th, 2022. So there is quite a bit of time to make improvements as it is a fairly new app. This is going to conclude the video here. If you enjoyed it, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I want to mention Copywriting Robot one more time. There's a link in the description to get lifetime access so you can use AI to write your product descriptions 10 times faster. So make sure you check that out below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.